Look! <laughs> what? No, not that one. This one! <gasps> I was looking at it earlier! The supply chest! Were you children just inside the mind of the Grand Head of the Psychonauts? No. Darling, we saw you come out. That's an incredible security violation. Listen, that's the mole! Kid, you're way behind. The mole is Nick from the mailroom. Sasha just figured it out. Yes, but I no! I had my suspicions. Why, there he is, over there. No, that's the Zazarovich of Grulovia. Or at least his body. His mind is in my dad's head. Ah, uh, we don't have time for this. Let's go get my dad's brain. Out of my way. Did she just say? Guys, don't do anything rash, okay? We'll be right back. Gah. I think we should get out of here. Oh no! <gasps> Little Zazarvich, have you come to pay for your father's sins? Yes, High Priestess. I am here to correct the mistakes made by my father. I am Crystal Malek. Oh my god. Son of Theodore, rightful ruler of Grulovia and servant of Maligula. Lucy, this isn't you. We can fight this together. Ford, you're here too. This is awkward. Ah, there's too many people here. Too much baggage. Need to... No, 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 no. Push it all away! No! <gasps> Everyone's gone! Lily, wait! I'm gonna need some help. It's a good thing we got out of there earlier, but oh no. Everyone's gone. Okay, now they have to promote me this time if we manage to save the day, right? <laughs> Is Maligula doing that? <gasps> of course she's doing that. Lily! She's going ahead already? <sighs> oh my god. Oh, no, 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 we can't stand on it. Okay, in that case... Got it, got it. It's not the same kind of, like, friendly campfire sort of wind. It's a tornado. Bruises are falling, but our quality never will. No, no, that could have killed me. Uh... Last buying? time bubble pins. I don't have enough for one more. Dang it. I can buy another Psypop, but I don't think we'll need it. Psypops will keep you in the fight. Yeah. Please use your purchases responsibly. I hope my family is still at the camp. Your father had a rough night. He's been remembering things. Mm. I lost her, Rasputin. I think my dad probably has it rougher than me. Why is he remembering though? Because Maligula is also unlocking? Oh no. 
You know what we have to do. Mio caro. No tears, my love. It's showtime. <gasps> Time for the devil's fire hose. Quippy, on the bottom. Strongest kid in the world. Now we know why the kid is on the bottom. And this time we're allowed to use psychic powers, right? Now, Rasputin, up top you go! But what about all that water? The curse isn't real, Dad. It's just something Ford put in our minds to keep us safe. We need to undo it somehow. Sure about that? Of course he's not sure. But what choice does he have? <gasps> you ready, Raz? No. So do it quick. Oh! Allie? Say hi to Nona for me! Tell her to knock it off! Oh, they already all figured it out. Okay, Lily's gonna get her dad's brain. I'm gonna deal with this. Sounds good. Gotcha. You're okay, you're okay. <laughs> oh god. Just a statue. Just a statue. Oh god, everyone's gone. Oh! <gasps> That's right, and there's more where that came from. Raz, that's your grandmother. Talk to your grandma like that? Well, okay, maybe not the evil one. The evil one is not your grandma. Can we- can we shoot that thing even more? No. <laughs> so no, there isn't more of where that came from. Well, this is cheery. Oh, my actual grandmother, my biological grandmother. With glasses. And everybody else who was protesting. Oh. Oh, there's not even like a level name for this. I was gonna look at the summary or something, but no. No, we're going backwards. My grandparents were part of the protests in Grulovi after the war. It didn't end well. Grandpa died. Here's a scene I was hoping not to see again. You're in the way, Maligulugly. Maligulugly. Malugly. Yeah, I gotta practice that before I meet her for real. <laughs> but what about Nona, though? Nona is real. We can't just look at her and be like, I hate you, because you're a bad person. Grandma Morona. My real Grandma Morona. And my dad's father, Lazarus. Nice to see them alive, actually. A alive? <laughs> alive? Uh, let's... I want everything, basically. I want all of these. I'm gonna pay for that later. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh, 
Nona? Now it's Nona? <laughs> oh, uh, hi. I'm Raz. I'm your great nephew. <laughs> I mean, not that I think I'm great or anything. Just that you're my grandma's sister. And I'm here to talk you out of being evil because, you know, you're still family and all. Family? All I see is another unruly Grulovian peasant. A uh, half Grulovian. Another bit of trash I need to wash from the streets. <laughs> trash? Ah. Oh boy. <laughs> well, we're very welcome here. Oh? Why are you hitting yourself, huh? Stop hitting yourself! Oh! Ha! Good one, Sam! Two of you are no more threat than one! In my time, I have vanquished entire armies! The whale! Sam! I'd like you to meet Mental Esmeralda. <gasps> you guys have skills. Uh oh. Careful, children. Oh. Oh, I fear a storm is coming. Sam! No, no, no! Let the streets be cleansed forever! Are the other interns around? I'm not afraid of you. You're just an overgrown lust for fu Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, what do we need? Is Pyrokinesis gonna do anything here? I have an archetype. Violence and destruction. Okay, that sounded scarier than I wanted it to. But you're actually a normal part of Sorry. Any human mind. <laughs> I will defend Rulovia against all her enemies. She's I'm burning yes. water. And it's working. Whoa, 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 but we're getting eaten up though. That's why I wanted the projection here. You brought this upon you your You threw it in the water, you dummy! Oh god. You shouldn't be. Ah! What dares block my flow? I don't know, lady. Have you tried eating prunes? Lizzie! The problem is she's all twisted up in knots. I got something that'll help you. Unwind! The yo-yo! Looks painful. It's okay. I have another one. Oh, great! Great! Go. Maybe just keep burning her a little bit. No, not like that, Pooter. Good thing I got a bunch of side pops, huh? And stop calling me Pooter, Lizzie. They bounce off! My side blast bounces off! Quilts weakling! Hey! That little old lady's inside her! Now that you've seen that, I'm afraid I can't let you leave! Wait! What does that even mean? <laughs> it means right! Oh no! 
That's right, the interns are still around. Listen, you're a natural part of the fight or flight complex. But you're supposed to be smaller. Stay down in the primitive brain until needed. I am the deluge of Grolavia! Oh my god, she's eating me up. Give me the Oh no! Oh, it's distracting. Thank you. Thank you, little Raz. I know you're in there, Nona. Thank you for the mental energy, Psypop. Oh, we're getting... She's busting everything out. You know what? We should just lower down. Why are we even putting up with this? Slow her down. She's still very fast, though. Oh god. Like we gotta we gotta do some mental connection or something. Oh we can't connect to her. So what can we do here? That's helpful. Projection. Well at least he's distracting the guys, but we're moving forward, so I can't even catch the health. Nona! You heard the Lady Rasputin. Let's get you away from that water. Norma, why are you pretending to be on our side? Sorry, I thought you were the mole, Raz. Let me make it up to you. Oh, now you believe me? Ooh, she looks steamed. Get him! Wait, wait, wait. Telekinesis would be great here. Although I also want... Oh, we don't have time for the projection guy, you know? There's the mental energy I need. Thanks. Send me a thing. Somebody send me... Send it over. Yeah. Feed my child. Oh my god. I'm hoping they'll like let me telekinesis a thing so I can hit her with it. She's so fast. Well, she's, they're not even it's not even hitting her. delicious and packed. Putin! There's something I have to tell you. I killed my breath. Enough! Oh! Norma, are you? Nona, if you can hear me, this thing is not your fault. Ford's experiments opened the door and let it out of the lower brain. The Tsar and his war made it grow. But this has gone on long enough. Oh, she's so fast. Take his breath. He's so fast. Never underestimate the power of pirate radio. Morris. Norma came to me, upset about some terrible mistake she had made. So we put the word out on KLOB, and guess what? People were listening. At least one of them. And they told the others. Thanks, Morris. So what does that mean? Is someone going to come help me, or...? You owe me an exclusive on-air interview for this, okay? You got it, buddy. Oh, God. Oh, no! Oh, come on. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> Marona. Wasn't supposed to be there. Lazarus shouldn't have brought her. He killed my sister. No, that's not quite right. No, that's not quite right.
Hadi gelsin. Ay. I killed my sister. I might not be your real grandmother. I killed my sister. But you're still my family. What so what? No. <laughs> I kill lots of people. The only thing I can offer now is everything I've got. Nona must be a pretty powerful psychic too. Oh! But there's always room for one more. Oh, I wish I had made you bigger. It's okay, Nona. Look behind her. My crawly doggy's little hole after all. <laughs> yep. And we're gonna fill it. Kick her into the pit! Good old hand to hand combat. Can we block? Oh! Goggle Lord returns! Going! <laughs> Grandma, stop backseat fighting! Push her away. <laughs> I didn't punch her. got something like you. We just know how to keep it where it belongs. <gasps> oh. Goodbye, Maligula. For real. We got our Nona back! Nona! Nona! You got it! It was just there the whole time! Do you have a funnel? Do we need a funnel? So that's it? Maligula gets to live out in Green Needle Gulch with Ford as if she didn't just try to kill people? <laughs> hey, it was different when I did it. There was a monster. And and then uh, and now uh... We still let you live. I think she deserves a second chance. I agree. And I think I deserve a vacation. My brain's been through a lot. Oh no you don't. 
I've kept this place afloat during your little nap, and now I'm taking two of the 17 weeks of vacation I've saved up to lie in a beach where none of you can find me. Right after we take care of some important Psychonauts business. <gasps> well, are you coming or not? Are we getting badged? Now that's leadership. Unlike you, what have you been doing the whole time? Despite my best efforts, you interns have seen some really inappropriate things. But I think you've also learned a truth that every Psychonaut should know. That there are flaws in our most venerated institutions, in our heroes, and in ourselves. We all make mistakes, and we all need help sometimes. But we all deserve <laughs> a second chance. You've seen us at our worst, and we've seen you at your best. And I'm proud to say, you have all graduated from the intern program. Yeah! Yes. That's what I'm talking about! You are all now officially Junior Agents of the Psychonauts. Junior? Junior! I'll take it! Uh, you're in front of people right now, Raz. This is okay. Yes! I mean, Junior is not Senior, but it's not Intern. That's the important part. Yes, finally, making some real progress here. Well, uh, this is it for me and Psychonauts. Of course it's not. We gotta go back and collect the figments and the memory vaults, and I wanna finish up the last side quests, too. Finding Queepy and the psycho seismometer. We've done so much already, might as well finish the rest of it, right? What a fun game, though, Psychonauts 2. I feel like these days, there's a lot of focus on, like, really hyper-realistic, especially as graphics and technology get better. There's a really big focus on, like, making things more realistic, more photorealistic, I should say, and... This type of very cartoony, stylized game is not one that comes by that often. Plus, it's really great to just see that, you know, a cult classic game that so many people love is finally getting a worthy sequel, I would say. Yeah, by any measure. With these kinds of, like, you know, super long-awaited sequels, it's kind of risky because you don't know if they're gonna be able to recapture the magic, but I feel like... Yeah, this is a great sequel. There were so many fun story beats and plot twists along the way. Okay, Nick John Smith as the mole, sure, but like Nick being the star, like I, I'm, I'm just still thinking about that and I'm like, oh my god. Or even earlier when the Psy King, the brain in the jar, was revealed to be Helmet. Just lots of fun things going on here. And of course, the iconic level design and world in Psychonauts is just. It's very, very memorable. Like I said back in the first episode, there's just so much I still remember about the first one, even though I played it ages ago and I didn't do a replay or anything. The second one, I enjoyed it tons, but I'm not really sure if it's gonna reach that same level of cult status, especially because today there's like tons of games releasing every day, but I, I just want to say that it's a worthy sequel and we waited a long time, there were a lot of delays, but it was worth the wait. Especially considering how back when the Fig campaign first opened up, that's the Kickstarter platform they used. It, honestly, like, Double Fine and Tim Schafer's reputation was not the greatest at the time because they had failed at another game, they just sort of abandoned it. So the way Microsoft came along and just swooped up Double Fine and the sequel, Psychonauts 2, actually turned out to be a pretty damn decent game is almost like going against the grain a bit. Because I'm sure a lot of people were looking for this to fail, and I, you know, as a backer, I'm very glad to see that it didn't fail. And I'm happy. I'm really happy. We might have to wait for post-game to see what's going on here, but, um... Yeah, the whole Maligula business... I guess... I mean, the whole time in the beginning, I was thinking, Oh, it must be the Tsar doing something bad to Nona to make her into Maligula, but, you know, at the end of the day... As an exploration of people's mental worlds, psychonauts journeying into people's psyches. Yeah, it, it was sort of just, it's not an outside factor apparently that caused all this to happen. It's. Yeah, what was the explanation that Raz was giving? That, um, I guess her fight or flight instincts were taking over. And that's a really, really cool thing about psychonauts too, because you can definitely just go through this game and be like, hey, we're the good guy, we're defeating the bad guy, the end. 
But if you want to, you can also take a look at it deeper and be like, hmm, what does this mean? What does that mean? And there's so much symbolism and all that within all the people's mental worlds. And keep in mind that every single level is just completely unique. It's kind of like um like a Disney movie or a Pixar movie where the kids can enjoy it just because it's a cool cartoon, but adults or people paying a little bit more attention might be able to get something extra from it too. Very cool, very cool. Oh, I also really love how by the end there, like, I guess because they had a long time to write this story, that um everything, everything that gets mentioned eventually gets brought back again. They're like, hey, remember this devil's fire host thing that came up like one time 10 hours ago? Well, here it is. It's back. And I just love that so much. That being said, though, I love the game and I love the platforming. It's really, really fun. Fun enough for me to go back and collect all the figments and whatever. But I wish the dialogue wouldn't cut off all the time. Especially in a very story-driven game where there's a lot of funny dialogue and whatnot, I really wish they had a system where the dialogue wasn't constantly getting cut off. It was kind of really annoying in the beginning, but I guess I got used to it by the end. I just wish we could hear all of it though, because they took effort to write it and voice it, and I want to hear it, but it just gets cut off so easily. Also, while I did love the characters and all that, I feel like the cast was just way too big. Like. We had so many people to care about, without even considering the old people from the first game. We had the five or six interns, the five or six people from my family, the Psychic Six, now seven, and then Hollis, Truman, and just a whole bunch of- like, that's already like 15 plus new characters who we should know by name by the end here. Most of them maybe had one or two moments to shine. The interns had the thing back at the casino, and then at the very end there, but in between these two events, we don't really have that big of a chance to get to know anybody. You know one or two traits about the people, basically. Like Adam and the yo-yo, or Gisu and the skateboard, or Sam learning about how to make pancakes and the I mean, uh, the whales. So I feel like that's a bit of a shame. And personally, I would have loved to see more of the older characters too, like Mia and Sasha. They're kind of like backseat advisors in this one, which... Well, back in the original one, we already explored their mental world, so I guess they wanted to switch it up, but, you know, I I almost wish they would rely on the nostalgia a bit. Because I do get the sense that they've tried to move away from banking on nostalgia on purpose. They could have very well just been like, hey, here's Mia, here's Sasha forever, or like, you know, here's Lily and Raz all the time. But no, no, I mean, Lily, I really appreciated that by the end there, we got a bigger mission with her. Man, they must have been sitting on this story for so long. Ever since Rhombus of Ruin at the very minimum, right? Because that was setting up the story for this one. And what about the future? What about the future? Is there a room for Psychonauts 3? Will it take another 15 years? I feel like you can definitely tell more stories in this universe, but because every single level is so unique and different, well, this is not like a Call of Duty that you can churn out once a year, definitely. It takes a lot of creative effort. And uh, just um, the marriage between the plot, the story, and the art team, and just... We saw so many creative things throughout the levels. It's really quite amazing. Yeah, I mean, all I can say is that this was a really enjoyable ride, and I'm so glad to have played this. I'm so glad we exist in a timeline where Psychonauts 2 finally came out. Psychonauts got a sequel, and there might even be more on the horizon, maybe someday. Okay, so like I said, we're not done just yet. I want to go back and do some collection. I think in the, the Gristle Malik level, I didn't even get the memory vaults, right? So definitely want to see that. Collect some figments, do some side quests, and by some I mean all of them. And just in general, talk to some people around the mother love, huh? See what they've got that's new? So if you're interested in seeing that, then definitely stick around, and I'm not gonna say bye just yet. We are gonna be back with probably one more video. We'll see.